Katie gave us a bit of a surprise today. We had expected that we would see earlier signs of labor and a water break, but her water broke more gradually than we would typically have expected. And so she caught us a little bit off guard with a baby that was further along in labor than we expected it to be. But so far, labor looks pretty good. We've got two front feet at this point, most of the knees. We've also got the head and part of the neck showing. It's a little bit different from a human birth. In most human births, we talk about the baby crowning. The first thing that you see in a human birth is the top of the baby's head. In the case of a giraffe birth, we see the front legs first. That's such a big baby that in order to fit inside of mom, the baby's got to be curled up inside there. And during birth, you're going to see those hooves slide out first, the nose slides out next, and then not too long after that, those shoulders will slide out. The shoulders on the calf are the broadest part of the baby, so that's the toughest part of labor. Because this is Katie's second calf, we're hopeful that this will go off without a hitch. You can see that we set Katie up in a special maternity stall. This stall was designed into the building to give mother giraffes some space separate from the rest of the herd and give them space in which to bond with the calf. The rest of the herd is pretty fascinated though, so you'll see them coming over frequently to check out the progress and see what's happening. Oh, this is very exciting because we've got a lot more calf. A lot more calf. And she's pushing. And we've got a giraffe calf. This is so cool. We see movement in the ears. We see the youngster blinking. Those are both great signs. And mom is still up. She's obviously tired, but mom's doing well too. What we're looking for is for mom to be licking the youngster. That's going to help stimulate the calf. It's also going to keep the calf clean and nice. And get some of the extra amnion off. Once that calf is stimulated and up and moving around, in the wild it's going to have to follow mom immediately so that it doesn't become prey to predators out on the savanna. We look for that same behavior here. So in the next hour or so, we're going to look for mom to continue stimulating that calf, and the calf is going to struggle up to its feet. You can see he's already wiggling around. Now at this point, our veterinary staff are all here in the office with us. We're utilizing these high-definition cameras to, to check the youngster out and check mom out. And we've got a calf on its feet. <laughs> That's a huge step. That's quite a milestone for a little calf. We're not quite sure that his hooves are totally underneath him, but he's in the standing position, which is a good, good sign. Whom we've been working for the last 15 months just gave birth about an hour and 15 minutes ago. Now, we are so excited to meet the newest member of the giraffe herd here at the Dallas Zoo. We're so excited that we got to share this with all of you. Thanks so much for joining us here at the Dallas Zoo.